I can see uh, Jared Bush, Byron Howard, and Clark Spencer, please. Welcome for Encanto. Yeah. How are you doing? So, yes, yeah, just stand fairly close to it. Um, so, first of all, congratulations. How are you feeling? Yeah. You take that one. Uh, oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's a little unbelievable. We're super excited. I, I, I don't have words. I don't have words. <laughs> Sorry. I Either mean, you, the, the film has given us, I think, uh, approximately a million earworms uh, since it came out. Uh, I don't know anyone. Uh, th there was a guy on scaffolding outside my house who was singing We Don't Talk About Bruno the other day. Um, you know, did you expect that kind of reaction to the, to, to the film? Um, so we've been living with that song for two years. So you can imagine <laughs> that. I would say that it was one of the most fun songs that Lynn wrote. It was also the only song that he literally wrote in front of us. We had these nightly Zoom calls and we talked about that song and he literally turned to the piano and went dong 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 and played the first notes of that song and it was the fastest one he wrote and we're so excited that for that song specifically so many people are seeing themselves as characters. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. The song obviously is really shot for Corbin children and they like to listen to it over and over so when you tell people you worked on this film to parents you, they, feel about <laughs> they do. <laughs> I know they do. Uh, I have two kids, so I talk to a lot of the moms, and they're like, uh, "So <laughs> you've replaced other music with we don't talk about Bruno and Encanto soundtrack, but we're thrilled. They love it too, though. So they say that they drop the kids off at school and they still play it. So. <laughs> and also, you know, one story Lynn told us was two weeks before the film opened, he met someone named Bruno, and he said, "I'm so sorry." <laughs> and he said, "You don't know why I'm so sorry, but promise you, in a couple weeks, you'll be sorry." <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Um, and it's also, you know, it's such a, a joyous film as well, but it deals with really important, you know, family relationships and, and the kind of messy bits that people don't talk about. So is that something that you really wanted to, to bring out? Yeah, absolutely. So the, this movie took about five years to make. Um, and the first several months, we actually were just, we just interviewed our own families. And we discovered there's some messiness in families. You know, a lot of family films talk about how great family is and families are great, but they're complex, they're difficult. And we wanted this movie to give people tools to be able to talk to each other, to be able to talk to their family members and get to know each other better and see each other fully. Amazing. Any other questions here? Yeah. It's been such a success. Is there any plan for a sequel? Have you talked about that? Talked about it? Clark's the president of the company, <laughs> and so he can make anything happen. That he wants. <laughs> Clark? Uh, you know, we always try to figure out if there's another story to tell, then of course we'll bring it forward. But if we can't find the right story, then we wouldn't do it. So we'll find the right story, though. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Um, yes. Um, so this film, you know, I, I thought it was great, and then twenty-one. You know, like, what made? What do you think made this film so so universal and so enjoyable for, for all audiences? Uh, well, I have to give huge credit to Sharice Castro Smith. She's our co-writer, co-director. Byron Howard, who directed with me as well. Um, I think that we wanted to try to put a lot of people on screen. We've never attempted 12 main characters, that's our family. By doing so, I think a lot of people were being able to see themselves or their sisters or their mothers or their cousins or their dads. Um, and so I think there was a lot of different access points. And then I'd say, you know, the music itself is infectious. And that's something that Lynn manuel did such a terrific job at. Jermaine Franco did an amazing job with the score. So it's something where we wanted people to want to go back and to find new things every time they did. Absolutely. Well, listen, thank you so much. We've got to cut it off there. But ladies and gentlemen, Encanto, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you.